Hi, we are here today with 12-year-old multi-instrumentalist Ivy Phillips. Ivy is the first to place in all categories at the Smithville, Tennessee Jamboree. She has also won seven state championships. She's also placed third in the National Grand Champion Championship. Um, so Ivy, tell us how you got started playing music. Well, my mother, she put my brother Grayson in Suzuki lessons when he was probably about six years old mm -hmm. and I was three at the time. Okay. And I started sitting in some of his lessons and when he would come home I would get out of his get out of his fiddle <laughs> and try to play some of the stuff that he would do. Mm -hmm. So when I turned about four, my mom put me in Suzuki lessons. Okay. And I'd done that for about a year and I started taking more bluegrass lessons mm -hmm. at the main stage in Springfield, Tennessee. Yeah. And Ever since then, I've just been started taking from different teachers, such as Deanie Richardson for Bluegrass mm -hmm. and Megan Lynch for Texas Style, and then also Gary Adams. Very cool. Ivy, you're going into the seventh grade um, and you are homeschooled. Do you find that homeschooling um, allows you more time to do music? I do find that homeschooling helps with music in many ways because I can go to lessons during mm -hmm. the afternoon and just when I get back home I can start my school then yeah. or um, I can go to more jams and go to more shows yeah. and then just practice throughout the day. Yeah, a little more flexibility, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I know you go to a lot of different contests. Um, tell me about um, the process of putting together a good arrangement. Well, I usually find a record or something that I like the arrangement of, mm -hmm. and then I take it to my teachers or I try to work on it myself. Okay. And there's awesome apps like the Amazing Slow Downer mm -hmm. and different apps like that that I can download the recording on to, mm -hmm. and it helps me break down the song and. I usually just pick out different parts and then put them together. That's real cool. Ivy, do you have any um, advice that you can share to other young performers who want to do some contests? I would say um, just go for it and go to try to go to a lot of jams mm. and that prepares you for playing with a Absolutely. lot of people and getting used to a crowd. Mm -hmm. You also meet a lot of people too, don't you? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to do a basic shuffle and at the end this is what it's going to sound like. So 
I'm going to break this down into three steps, and the first step is we're going to learn the bowings on the D and A string. It's going to go low, low, high, low, low, high. Once you can get that up to speed, you're going to want to do your C chord, and that's the first finger on the D string and the second finger on the A string. You're going to do the same thing. Then if you want, you can start alternating fingers, and one time you're going to do it how you just learned it, and then the second time, instead of using the second finger, use the third finger. Useless shuffle on songs like Back Up and Push or Orange Blossom Special, and this is what it would sound like. Ivy, tell us about um, Kids on Bluegrass at the IBMA. What is that all about? Well, Kids on Bluegrass is a group of kids that Kim Fox picks. Mm -hmm. They send in different forms and stuff in audition videos. She picks about 20-something kids. Mm -hmm. And when IBMA comes along, we all pick a song, mm -hmm. and then we get to perform it on stage. That's awesome. How old are these kids? They are all 18 and under. Wow. And so you've been involved how many years? I think this is going to be my fourth year. Wow, congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Well, Ivy, I also understand that you play fiddle in a band. What's the name of that band? Someday Soon. And tell us about it. It's a group of two siblings. It's Karen Franny DeGiovanni and me and my brother. Carson. Okay. Um, we do different gigs. Like here, about a week ago, we done the East Nashville Farmer's Market. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we do a little jam in Millersville. And we just try to play different shows. And then I'm also... I play in a band sometimes, it's called Coal Town Dixie, and they're a group of women from Eastern Kentucky. Oh, very cool. Well, Ivy, what are some future plans that you have for you and your music? Well, I plan to go to college for music, yeah. and after that, I would like to be in a band, just travel around the world. Awesome. See lots of cool things, huh? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, Ivy, thank you so much for taking the time and talking with us today. Thank you. Good luck in seventh grade. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>